What is up guys? Albert here coming back to you with a wonderful new video and as you can see our place today looks wonderful and different and everything seems better and that's because of this brand new lens that I'm rocking with the 50mm f1.8 Anyways today we will be talking about a topic which I really hold dear to my heart and that is journaling in journaling it's all about writing down your thoughts or expressions into one notebooks or maybe some notes or some opinions that you've heard or stuff like that our video today will talk about the expectations versus reality sometimes we feel like journaling is just this and that but in reality it's actually harder than you think so on to the video now I've been journaling on and off for quite some time now actually I'm on my fist right now this is my journal right now it's a Victorian's notebook journal, I think. I bought it in National Bookstore a couple months ago. Actually, it was just like one month ago. I haven't written that much on it yet. And since I'm going back to journaling, this inspired me to make this video. Some of you guys think that journaling is just writing down stuff and you're done with it. But sometimes it's more than that. And here are some expectations and realities. Number one, you'd write every night. At first, when you're starting off your journal, it feels like that you're really, really passionate and you're really inspired to write every night, to write everything, every thought down, everything in that single page. But in reality, sometimes you don't get to do that. Sometimes you just feel uninspired, unpassionate, unwilling to write, and you just want to lay in bed and just go to sleep. Sometimes sleep will feel like a much more favorable thing to do than writing in your journal. And personally, I am also guilty of that. There are days when I don't write in my journal. There are even weeks, sometimes even months, where I just leave my journal in like the dashboard. And I just started writing a couple of days ago. And currently, it's working fine. I'm writing every day right now. And hopefully, I can continue this till I fill up this entire journal. One of the expectations that we have is that we will be so inspired, so passionate to write everything down but there will always be those dry days where we just tend to forget that we even have a journal to write on. But the thing about journaling is that it's a lifestyle. It's not just something that you pick up and do once in a while. It's something that you have to do consistently. It reflects on your lifestyle and what you do and how you do it. Which is why journaling is a really really good avenue for us to write stuff to put down our thoughts and all of that stuff that's stuck in our minds which is why i encourage you guys to actually write in your journal every day because it's a really big help number two the second expectation is that we will read our journal back one day journaling is a way for us to reflect for us to write down our thoughts and go back to it sometime after but sometimes we just tend to leave our journals and like never open it ever again actually I'm really guilty of that you'll most likely forget about that journal or maybe you'll write something today then in the following days following weeks you're not even going to remember what you wrote in your first day until you actually take the initiative to pick up that journal and go ahead and read it which is why I encourage you guys to go grab your old journals if you have some and read them or if you have written something in your journal go back to it a couple days later a couple weeks later and read it back because sometimes you will learn something from what you have written before and that's what's amazing about journaling it's that you can go back in time and relearn those things that you've forgotten and relearn those realizations that you've once reflected upon which is why go pick up your journal right now and read it. Number three, some of you might think that journaling is cheap. Well, yes, it's not hard for you to go pick up a piece of notebook and just write your memories, your thoughts about it. But the reality is that if you're going to invest in something great, you need to actually spend quite a bit of money for it. There's a saying where the more you invest in something, the more that you'll value it, the more that you'll be interested in it, the more that your passion in that certain object will be. Remember all of those 7 peso ball pens that you bought when you were a kid. How many of those ball pens do you remember up to now? 
How about ball pens that you have bought for 50 pesos? I tend to lose my ball pens a lot, so one thing that I do is I buy expensive ball pens to make sure that I will actually value those ball pens, which is why the same thing can be applied in journaling. Um, yes, we can choose to write in like those cheap notebooks we have in school, but in reality, will you value it enough for you to like take care of it, to treasure it, to like give you that extra push to write in it every day? And that's something that you have to think about. And the reality is, sometimes you have to shell in those extra cash just for you to gain more of that monetary value. We're still humans. No matter how much we say that we'll value a certain object, if something is cheap, most likely we might just forget about it the next day. Which is why I really love this notebook. It's really something that I treasure a lot. I love it a lot. Usually with my cheap notebooks, I would just leave it in my bag. Um, not care if it gets like cripples or stuff like that. But instead, with this notebook, I actually take the time to make sure that it doesn't get water damage. It doesn't get any cripples or anything like that. And I make sure that I leave it safe at home. Or when I need to bring it, I make sure that it's safely tucked in my bag where it's actually safe. Which is why I really recommend that you guys invest in a high quality notebook. Which is why I'm telling you right now that journaling can be expensive if you're really going to put your heart into it that's something that you have to take into account when you're going to start a journal and also I guess one last thing um, sometimes we expect that our journals are going to be clean are going to be beautiful are going to be super like amazing but there will be times where it will not be there will be times where you will be not passionate in writing and your writing goes directly into something messy. I do my best to make sure that my journals will stay clean, it will look good. I really take extra effort into making my journal look good. And it's, that's going to take you time. And sometimes when we don't feel um, passionate, when we feel dry, sometimes we are not going to make that journal look as clean as it could, as beautiful as it could. And sometimes there will be some pages which will be dirtier than others. There will be some pages with bad handwritings and there will always be those beautiful pages yes but sometimes there won't be and that's something that we have to take into account don't be discouraged though it's normal i go through it you go through it everyone will go through it there will always be those pages which will look ugly and those are my expectations in reality when i started journaling i thought that everything would be handy dandy but in reality it's not always that way which is why i I encourage you guys to take extra effort to put in to your journals and here's um, an extra like here's an extra like information for you guys for me this is like this is something personal like usually it depends on how you write this is how I write usually people will write dear diary dear journal dear this dear that but for me what I put is to my future self to my future self because i know that i'm the one who's going to read this back to my future self because i am writing this not for anyone else but for me and you should do don't journal just so that you can show other people that hey guys i'm journaling instead journal because you want to jot down those notes and reflect on it in the future for your growth and for you as a human being so I, I want to thank you guys for watching this video um leave a like if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this but anyways my name is albert jardibai and thank you for watching this video don't forget to be contented in every little thing in life anyways have a wonderful day